As tapes get older, we're starting to see more and more failure of the media itself, including the plastic leader that attaches the tape to the hub. Here's how to fix one. As many of you guys know, I run a tape archiving business. I'm actually quite busy archiving VHS, 8mm beta, even 8mm film and Super 8 film over to digital formats. And I'm increasingly finding more and more tapes that are broken. They've either, either the leader has come undone, as you can see there's a leader in here, but it's not connected to anything. So either the leader's broken or it's snapped off at the hub. And uh, we have to repair these before we can use them. So let's take a look at what went wrong with this one. I've already removed four of the five screws just to make things easy. So when we open up the cassette, we'll notice that the leader is actually detached from the hub. As we'll see here, there's actually a leader still on the supply spool, but it's actually broken off of the hub. This usually happens because just from the age of the tape. It could have been due to a failure of the auto stop mechanism on a playback machine when it was last played too. That certainly causes that problem where the machine doesn't respond fast enough and the tape actually hits the end and it snaps and it usually snaps right here at the uh, at the point where the, the tape itself is actually held in place. And the easy way to fix this is we just have to pop this out and uh, snap it back in. So the easiest way to do this is we can just use a screw screwdriver and try not to stab ourselves in the process, but we can usually slide this up or we can access it through here and pop it out. But usually it's easier to uh, just slide it up out of the way. Get a screwdriver underneath and just give it a turn. And it should lift up like this. You see, it's going to pop up through here. Now you gotta be careful that you don't break the reel doing this. Once we've got the the catch removed, you can see where it broke. It broke right where the leader was inserted. And it actually was brittle on both sides. This is a very tight fit, so this quite often will break just from its, uh, just from sitting over all the years. To fix the tape, where all we need to do is basically just drop the leader back in to the to the reel and then we're going to have to put that piece back in and this is the hard part getting this piece in first of all we want to try to get this as close to the end as we can just because we don't want to lose too much leader and then we're going to take the take the catch and put it in there and then we have to snap it in and this is the hard part getting this to catch to snap the catch to go in if you press hard enough you can usually get it to lock in place or use a pair of needle nose pliers for those ones that are really tough to attach there just like that that's how you snap it back together and then we just thread the tape back in over the tape guides Now I can reassemble the cassette and it's good to go. Some cassettes like this one have longer screws that go in the front and shorter screws that go in the back. So be sure you check the screws for their length before you put them back in. And before you even ask, yes, some pre-recorded tapes, they didn't use regular screws, so you need to use a security bit, such as what I got in my secure bit, where it's got all these different shaped bits, like I think this is one of the ones that was used by a number of VHS tapes, it's a little triangular bit. That and this one here is another one I think that was used quite often, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, anyway, that's um, 
that's how you quickly repair a tape that's come detached from the uh, take-up spool. It takes only a couple minutes to do it. All you need is a pair of needle nose pliers to pop it back in. Thanks for watching.